hasn't let up. He hasn't let up still. Who killed you? to shut the windows because it's a little breezy it's, so pretty it's beautiful outside it's a okay. gorgeous so, day a lot of the times that we go to this place a lot of the okay cut you cut oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that little baby one hey yeah the house is beautiful a lot of times that we go to these places we see them in the moment and we go if we find out history later, we include that. Because you do like to do your history. Yes, I do like to do my history. Yes. So a lot of the times it's done backwards. We find the places and we, then we research them. So the other way around. Which makes it very interesting. It does. Because then we're not knowing what to expect. We don't know what went on there, who was there, what happened, etc. This one's a little different. This one has a very dark history years ago a I don't even want to call him a man he's a coward uh, had a crush on a 17 year old niece and exposed himself to her the mother of that child which would be his sister threw him in jail for it obviously because that is just disgusting and this started a domino effect with this gentleman's mental health so there are a lot of details, we know a lot of information on this place, and it just so happens that this place right now is empty. So we are on our way to go film it, see if we can make contact if anything is still there. Take some drone shots if we can, I don't know if we can or not, because it's pretty windy out. It is a beautiful day here, which we don't get to say very often in Florida. Uh, it's a little warm, but the sun is out, the wind is blowing, humidity is low. So to Floridians, that's like a snow day. It's gorgeous. It is. Uh, we got sunshine behind the camera. We got Jenny Jump with me, Jenny from the block, little mama in the back seat. And we are gonna go see what we can stir up. You want to say, hey, can you like my channel, subscribe to my channel? Can we get that put in there? The only reason I say that is because yeah, you, should. you need, you have great followers. Christmas, 2008. John Cleese visited his sister's home where his niece Manessa lived with her mother. John, who always had a thing for her, exposed himself and tried to make a move. Manessa's boyfriend tried to intervene and was threatened with a knife. Kenny Donovan, Manessa's mother, pressed charges against John and he was arrested. For this, he received six years of probation. The owner welcomed people, as you can see by her welcome sign. This was the foundation to build upon his violent rage. Kitty and John's mother had changed her will just before she died the same year, leaving John completely out of the inheritance he was expecting. Five empty chairs no longer being sat on.
and, because of the probation, he could not head back to Colorado to get the tools he needed for work and the rest of his belongings from which he recently moved. A beautiful backyard and a house filled with evil. After suffering alcoholism and a 20-year sobriety as an AA sponsor, he started drinking again. The back porch area where her good friend was killed. In January 2010, his mobile home burned to the ground when he sparked an explosion while changing out the propane tank. Running to get away. Whatever little he had left was gone. He believed it all to be his sister's fault. He told his closest friend, Todd, that the sexual charges ruined him. More of the beautiful property all around this house. Kitty, 61, ran a successful home-based business combining art and science. She studied color, its use, and the effects it has on humans. She was featured in the 2000-2001 edition of Who's Who in American Women for her work in the field of color. January 13th, John visited his friend Todd. They drank scotch and talked. Jonathan expressed he had nothing left to live for. He pulled out a 9mm handgun and seven clips of hollow point rounds. Todd asked what his intent was, to which John stated, take him out. Okay, I'm trying to read the list inside the house. January 14th, 2010, 2 p.m. This is the next day after visiting with his friend Todd. John drove up to the house, walked into his sister's home with a hoodie and a baseball cap. It reads, wash the dishes, sweep the floor, mop the floor, clean the bathroom, dust cobwebs, take out dogs, feed dogs, water dispensers, feed pepper, one laundry day, turn off TVs, turn off water, turn off lights, dogs off furniture, vacuum the furniture, no dog abuse. I can see a lot of dog hair inside. I'm trying to get it so you can see the list. He pointed the gun at his sister Kitty and shot her three times while she begged. Amy Wilson, an employee of Kitty's, looked through the sliding glass back door and saw Kitty fall. She turned to run and a bullet smashed through the glass and into her stomach. She fell out in the yard. Deborah, a visiting neighbor who was sitting on that porch, frozen as John calmly walked to the door, was shot four times. His niece Manessa was in the home at the time and she cowered in the corner as he smiled and shot her three times. John then got back in his van and headed north, right through police dragnets. He made calls to brag about what he'd done to family and friends, and he stated he was waiting for the police to stop him so he could shoot them too. He kept driving north until he was forced to stop for gas. 4.47 p.m., the Sheriff's Department issued their be on the lookout. Ten minutes later, he pulled into a gas station in Cross City, Florida. Sheriff Captain Chad Reed, 33, got out of his squad car and walked to the van. John fired, hitting Reed in the face. Other officers opened fire, hitting Cleese five times. The day ended with four people losing their lives. Sister Kitty, neighbor Deborah, niece Manessa's unborn child, and Captain Reed. Amy the employee, niece Manessa, and John Cleese himself all survived. From the hospital bed, John told detectives that his sister and his niece were liars and pigs, and I wanted to erase their bloodline. I'm thinking he should have started just with himself. The trial only took five days, after that, it only took 90 minutes to deliberate after he pled guilty to arrive to the death sentence. In court, Manessa stated, I decided Uncle Jonathan wasn't going to stop shooting until I was dead, so I just closed my eyes and put my head down. John went to prison at Florida State Prison in Stark. In 2015, three years later, he died of, quote, natural causes at age 61. 
Now I myself am a very good friend of a retired police major. He was called to the scene that fateful day. I asked him about his experience there, and I could see immediately this was one of the ones, quote unquote, that stuck with him. As an officer in his position, it was his job to oversee every part of the scene and make sure it runs smoothly. When he arrived, there were already multiple units on scene, rescue squads, bystanders, and no suspect to be found. He spoke very frankly that when there are survivors of a tragedy at a crime scene, it makes things ten times harder because the rescue has to get in there and stabilize the victims. There's no crime scene preservation. Because there were two deceased and two injured, it was madness. There was even horses galloping wildly around the property and down the road. Within the hour, the call came in, officer down. Can you imagine? Let's see if he's still here. We are here at a secret location where 10 years ago in 2010, there were horrific murders that were committed by a family member at this home. Actually in this exact spot is where one of the bodies was recovered. But right here is where it all went down. So we came here out of respect for the family and the victims. Even though it was 10 years ago, we're not going to reveal where we are. And that is just out of respect. We're not we're not here to talk about that specifically, but we do want to see if anybody would like to chat with us and let us know maybe what happened. This is not an unsolved murder. Uh, the person went to jail for it and has since died in jail. However, it's still very still very fresh, still very new here. The neighbors are very weary of new people, so we've had to make some friends and pull some strings, but. Here we are. Uh, we just promised we wouldn't go inside. So we're gonna do it out here on the porch. It's very eerie to stand in a spot where somebody has perished. That thing always scares me when it first goes off, especially when you're in a place and it's dark and you're alone. All right. Hi. Hi. Hi, that was fast. It's kind of windy out here. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate? Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Sure. Sure. Okay. Is there anybody here from that day back? Did you know the person that did this to you? Did you have a chance to protect yourself? Singing me a song. I see there's been people living here. S I see there's been people living here since. Have you made yourself known to them? Do you have a message for anybody? Yes? Okay, you can tell me. What did that just say? It was for the money? Give me the money? Holy sh... Maybe? I don't know. Wow. Thank you. For talking with us. Are we talking with the suspect or a victim here? Yeah. 
uncomfortable. You there? I know you did. I'm very yeah. sorry. It's not, it's not fair, is it? Friend of mine? I really don't know what to say to you, friend. It's a little bit different feeling when you're walking into a place and sensing spirits where you don't necessarily know the story till afterwards. This one's a little different because we know the story and it was very horrific. Horrific. Very tragic. Who killed you? He's not letting anybody talk. Listen, can you let can you let somebody else speak, please? Hi. What? What's your? Mm, see, sir. I'd like to speak to somebody else, please. No. Is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do for you while we're here? What can I do for you? Well, I want you to know that we know what happened and we're very sorry. Going, okay. Thank you for thank you for talking with us. Okay. Why don't you try the other box and see if someone besides that guy can come through? He's not letting anybody talk. Still. Can we speak to somebody else that's here, please? There were females that were killed here. Can we speak to one of them, please? Someone shut up. If it's you that we're speaking to, I want you to know what you did was just sick. You accomplished nothing. Four families apart, including your own. Normally I don't speak this sternly to them, but he's, he's hovering. He's like right here and he's very, very helicoptery. Can you back up please? Talk. 
We want to talk to the homeowner. We want to talk to the person that owned this home. Please. Let's say please. We want to talk to the homeowner, please. Or her daughter, or her friend, please. pissing me off now. Alright, we are going to get out of here. Once it crosses the threshold for me that I start not feeling very nice, then we need to go. So, it just makes me so mad that he's not letting anybody else talk. What was that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe like a nut falling in the woods on this property. Who knows? Anyway, we will get home and see what sort of evidence that we captured. I'm sure we kept something good because he seems to be proud of what he did. So I'm sure if he's able to show in the afterlife, if he's still hanging around here, what he did, then we caught it. So we will review the evidence and you need to stay here. You are not allowed to follow us anywhere. And I hope if there's anybody else still here that he hasn't let up. He hasn't let up still. Alright. Maybe we'll come back with um, permission to get inside. I'd like to get in there and see what he's all about. He's a coward. I know that. Alright guys. We are headed to the uh, post office to check our P.O. box and he's touching me. We'll see you on the next adventure. the channel so that we wow wow that was a hell of an outfit those are some pants those are let's get those Tony on our, the tiger let's get some, let's get those, those on our channel so we can sell those okay so so yes and go what am I saying you're gonna say huh? hey if you guys like my videos that I'm putting out Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. Share my videos. So become part of the Rochelle G YouTube family. Because we're tribe. awesome. Yes. Try well, you family. just said it, so why do I have to say it? Because it's better coming from those blue eyes. <laughs> Listen up, buttercups. We do things a little bit differently here. We have the best subscribers. We have the best tribe that yes. we've built. Um, Amazing. We are a very, very low to no drama family so if you like that sort of thing if you like to watch content that's got low or no drama as well as doing things in a respectful manner that sounds a little snarky why because kind of sounds like you're digging i am digging okay. because we don't have to be jerks to get evidence no well clearly not because we're not jerks. 
if you like to watch not jerks <laughs> investigate the paranormal communicate with the afterlife spirits get answers respectfully and not destroy places we go into land the plane hit oh. the subscribe button now I'm taking extra long smash that subscribe button oh smash that subscribe button <laughs> Hit the like, share out to your social media, and we will see you guys shortly.